from the game because there are some talking points in the game. Uh, did are, are, Were you finished with your points? Did you have anything else to say, my friend? No, no, it's just more in the game now, isn't it? Okay. Okay, fair enough. People want to talk about failure. People want to talk about failure right now. That's the first thing everyone wants to talk about. People want to talk about how, how is Arsenal going to deal with the Champions League next year. That's not what I really want to talk about right now. We need to talk about the actual game, what happened in the game. Gabriel Martinelli got injured in this game, guys. Gabriel Martinelli got injured in this game, in a game where he was having a decent couple minutes. He seems like the only outlet in these games sometimes. I don't know about how you've seen it, but Gabriel Martinelli's injury is not good, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is what happened to his ankle. Gabriel Martinelli got an ankle injury from Caicedo tackling him. And if you guys don't know, Caicedo was the right back in the game today. And consider Gabriel Martinelli's season over. Consider Gabriel Martinelli's season over, ladies and gentlemen. If I if I show you the next image, you 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 won't be surprised to find that Gabriel Martinelli is in a walking boot, and he won't be playing another game for the rest of the season. He he has an ankle injury, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know why you have a walking boot for an ankle injury. Is that normal? Yeah, because you need to stabilize your ankle. Okay, so yeah, he he has a walking he has a walking boot, um, and he's going to be done for the season. Gabriel Martinelli, consider his injury. Um, he, he's had a fantastic season. Honestly, love the guy. He's been one of the guys who's been consistently showing up in this season. But Gabriel Martinelli's season is well and truly over, ladies and gentlemen. It's sad to hear, but the guy deserves our respect. He's one guy who, even when we've been poor against Liverpool, poor against West Ham, poor against these guys, he's one guy who showed up. And I'll give that to him. I know you didn't give it to a lot of other players, but Gabriel Martinelli, we got to give it to him. He showed up in many of these games. Maybe maybe not today before he got injured, but he got injured early in the game. 20 minutes into the game, he got injured. And sad to hear, but Gabriel Martinelli's season might be over, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let's hope the best for him. After the game, you could see that the everyone was everyone's quite gutted for the guy. And I'm gutted for the guy himself, man. Gabriel Martinelli is one of the soldiers this season. He has definitely been a soldier, John. Um, genuine season. Hopefully he pushes on next season. What has Martinelli's season been? How many goals he had? The guy, the guy has just been. You know, the only gutting thing is, like, I know he's injured, which is gutting, but he could have broken the record for the highest scoring Brazilian in a single season, and he was a goal away from doing that. It's just, it's a bit disappointing. I know he's got time in his career to come back and do it again, but it would have just been amazing to top his season off with that record in hand. It's just disappointing, man. Gabriel Martinelli, fifteen goals, five assists in the Premier League this season. And in all competitions, if I'm not mistaken, he actually didn't get another goal in any other competition. He just pretty much just played in the Premier League. Did he not get a goal in the Europa League? I don't think he did. I don't think no, he, he think didn't. He played. So, yeah. So 15 goals, five assists in all competitions this season. Next season's definitely going to have to push on. Um, that's 20 goal involvements for Gabriel Martinelli. Honestly, I can't be any happier for the guy. He's had a fantastic season. Although the season's now over and we didn't win the league, we have to give him a lot of credit, push on and say, you know what, Mikel Arteta and the boys have to give him a lot of credit for how what kind of performance he's had this season. Um, title race over. Yeah, we know title race is over. We know the season's over. We know. We know. But yo, people, do me a favor. We got 60 people in the chat right now. Do me a favor. Hit that goddamn like button. It helps the channel out a lot. Support the, support the channel. Big up everybody who's watching right now. Let me know what you guys thought about the game. I'll try to get to your comments. If anyone can uh, can afford to do any super chats, that also helps the channel out massively. Any super chats or anything else would help us massively. So please do do that also. But yeah, Gunner Souls, man, just take it away. Do you have anything else? To do you think Martinelli should have been sent off prior to that? Because he did he did barge into Matoma while he was in the air, and people were saying that should have been also a foul. Uh, from Martinelli. So is there a case that Martinelli should have not even been on the pitch before he got injured? I think a yellow card. I think a booking was needed because um, you can't really go and do that. I, I understand why people said it's a red card. I do, I do hear the argument. But I think with how early in the game it is, you've got a set of precedents. And I think that's what happened. Once Martinelli did that, it was like, okay, we can be physical too. And the referee just and then when Saicedo did do the initial tackle, which eventually led to like him actually coming off, it was the game was done because the ref lost all control. And that's when they started kicking about, kicking more players and turning it into a physical battle. This is where referees need to manage the games better because if they had booked Martinelli at this moment, then those things probably don't happen because the referees stamped his authority and gone, none of that shit's going to fly today. So that's Fair just enough. how I feel. 